the uh, we're all aware of the uh, uh, Turkish uh, security detail uh, that assaulted uh, peaceful protesters on American soil and tried to prevent them from exercising constitutional rights of uh, the right to assemble and to free speech. And um, I am still mad about that. I think other members of Congress are, are as well. The U.S. Uh, has, a, has a plan to sell small arms uh, to security details like the Turkish uh, uh, goons that uh, assaulted Americans. Uh, the chairman has written a letter to Secretary Tillerson saying, asking to stop that sale until this is resolved uh, about the assault. Uh, where are we on that, Ambassador? Sir, uh, thank you for the question. Um, I think you've expressed concerns. We have some similar concerns that we uh, expressed directly to our Turkish uh, friends and colleagues. Um, but uh, this sale is one that obviously is going to have to be looked at and reviewed. It's still in the process of review, given the fact that now the law enforcement um, process is in play. Rather than sort of give you an end state, I would like to just come back to you soon and give you an update on where we are with it. But it is still in review. It has not. You been understand involved. as oversight on this issue, uh, members of the Foreign Affairs Committee through the chairman have said suspend those sales till this is resolved, uh, and the folks that committed these crimes against Americans and uh, on American soil is resolved. I think that's atrocious that that would ever occur. Uh, so that, that is our position, and um, we hope that you will suspend those sales until this is done. Uh, th this whole concept of, uh, of sales to uh, foreign countries, uh, hopefully folks that are friendly to us, uh, is, is complicated because the idea that if we don't sell to country X, then they're going to go buy from the Russians, the Chinese, whoever they can get uh, these uh, weapon systems from. It's a political issue, but it's, a, it's also a security issue for the U.S. Uh, to have partners that look to us rather than look to the Russians or the Chinese. I understand that. Uh, let's talk about Lebanon. We are in the process of selling weapons to Lebanon. Um, reports are the Lebanese government gives, that, gives those small arms to Hezbollah, a terrorist group. Uh, where are we on that? How do we know that Lebanon... Those arms don't end up in the possession of Hezbollah, a terrorist group, uh, in uh, Lebanon and now in other countries as well. Ambassador or Admiral, either one of you. How do we know that's, that's not going to happen? Um, thank you again for the question. So um, we are very uh, resolute in supporting the Lebanese armed forces. Those armed forces we regard as the most important um, guarantor, if you will, of Lebanese sovereignty and, and the ability of Lebanon as a country to maintain its integrity. We consider that very important with regard to what's going on in the region now, given the threat of ISIS or Daesh, given the threat of Iran extending its, uh, its, its arc of influence through- I, I get that. How do we know they don't end up in the possession of Hezbollah? We are very, very carefully extremely carefully, and, the, and we are confident thus far that no uh, weapons have been transferred from the Lebanese government or the Lebanese armed forces into the hands of those who should not get it, including Hezbollah. Do you want to comment, Admiral? Oh, sir, we, we would, uh, in, of course, execute our Golden Century program and, in, and use monitoring in that country to ensure that that does not happen. I want to turn to Pakistan. Uh, we've been having the issue with Pakistan, whether they're uh, loyal or playing us for years on the issue of uh, aid to, to Pakistan and sales to Pakistan. Um, when, as mentioned by the gentleman from California, Mr. Rohrbacher, uh, when we went in to uh, get a Osama bin Laden, uh, we were concerned about uh, the Pakistanis scrambling F-16s that we made uh, and sold to the Pakistanis so that they wouldn't shoot down Americans uh, who were doing uh, uh, the job of taking out this terrorist. Uh, that I personally think Pakistan plays the United States because of, uh, they turn to China uh, if, if we don't help them. I understand all that. They have nuclear weapons and we want to have a relationship with them so that they don't look to China. I, I get all that. but. Are we doing anything different on sales to Pakistan to make sure those sales 
of whatever it is aren't used against us directly or used against us indirectly because of the military helping the Taliban in Afghanistan where we have our troops and those weapons could be used against the United States. Uh, are we doing anything different to make sure that doesn't happen? Or are we still using the same formula? No, I mean, I think what we apply to Pakistan is what we apply to a number of our partner countries. But with Pakistan, we have a robust end use monitoring program, extremely robust, uh, to ensure that the items that we provide for them are used appropriately and within the boundaries of what we have asked them to accomplish. We, as you say, regard Pakistan as an important partner on counterterrorism issues. Uh, they will be essential in bringing the Afghan Taliban to the table for peace talks. Um, there are a number of things where we need their cooperation and their assistance. Um, and we do want to help them on the counterterrorism front. But on the other hand, again, we have very big concerns that we continuously front with them on support for Haqqani, on support for other things. Uh, this has been made clear to the Pakistani government uh, at the highest levels. Admiral, you don't want to comment? I defer to state. <laughs> All right, I'm out of time. Uh, uh